Good morning, Plum here, playing World Tanks. Look at that! <laughs> That's a cool little looking tank, i got to admit. I like the look of this little thing. I haven't been on the test server at all, um, just too limited for time. So now this has gone live, we are now live in 9.9. .9. The first thing I've done is come straight on and purchase the Spapanza 1C. And I've managed to be able to kit it out. You can see how this can climb. I'm, I've kitted it out with... Um, Vents and uh, what else did I put on it? I'm going to have to tell you when I get back to the garage. My short term memory is terrible in the morning. Anyway, we're going to roll around and see what this little thing can do. Now I've got the uh, auto loading cannon on it with a three shot clip, fires every three seconds. Uh, I have got vents, so that is slightly improved. My commander's 100%. My other two crew members have been brought over from other vehicles. And uh, they've been retrained, but they're only at about 90% per pair of them. So I'm carrying 33 AP rounds, and we've also got six uh, high explosive anti tank Merker rounds, which uh, have a lot more penetration. 250 for those bad boys, and only 180 for my regular armor piercing. So, who's coming to help Plum? A KV 85. Yeah, I think I've been uh, detected. Let's just move back a little bit. Now this has paper thin armour. This has no armour. <laughs> Trick is not to get hit. It's that simple. Do not get hit. Now if I'd just been there a little bit quicker. Uh, that's a tentative shot. Yeah, we'll take that one. And that one. And I might even get the kill. <laughs> so those are the first three shots I've ever fired in this tank. And it's on YouTube. First kill on the enemy team. <laughs> what do I think of this tank? I think it's amazing! <laughs> you watch now, I'm going to die. Really, really quickly. We've lost two tanks since I killed that first one got a bad feeling about this. Now the game is completely stock, I don't have the uh, mod pack installed yet. So this is uh, just completely standardised. I can't quite get my gun down on that guys. Gun depression's not the greatest. That's it there, I'm pointing down. It's okay. I mean that's workable, that isn't as bad as it first appeared to be. Obviously you don't get gun depression statistics in uh, the World of Tanks garage. I should have enabled the uh, integrated map mod so I could know where enemy tanks were. Ooh, we've got a Panther 2 over there. I'm just having a sneaky peek. Try and let that Panther 2 come round, I think. Well, he, I need to wait till he's whittled down a bit so I can just come in and give him the uh, the old 1 2. Oh, no. <laughs> that will happen far too quickly. Good job, team. KV 2, 860. Uh, I wish I was paying attention now to the reload on this gun for a full clip. Because I wasn't. I was so excited at killing that tank destroyer. I think that KV-2 has hopefully forgotten all about me. If I could get some shots on that WZ, that'd be awesome. Got 880 hit points, which doesn't feel too shabby, tier 7. Who is that running away? Oh, we've got a KV-2 over here as well. I'm liking this gun, I've got to say. Six shots fired, connected five of them. Yeah, that reload's not exactly quick, is it? On the uh, complete. Come on, I could nearly annihilate this guy if I could hit him.
Finally. <laughs> Hopefully he's going to burn. Burn! Well, that was good. Oh, I've just got to... Just got to... Oh, look at him. He's a sitter. An absolute sitter. I'll just show him a tiny bit. Maybe he might shoot and hit the building. Okay, I'm just going to... I've got to get this shot. I've got to make this one count. Come on, one more plum. One more. Ah, dang it. Now I've got to wait 18 seconds, 19 seconds before I can get my kill shot on the KV-2. Well, this feels like it's going down to the wire. I'm pretty sure I can kill this KV-2 if I can just hit him. I'll chance that. I know I can only see an absolute sliver of his tank. Looks like our... Oh, there's a couple of sitters over there. Oh, thank goodness. The uh, T-34 managed to take out the Ferdinand. Okay, I've got to go now for this KV-2 and take him out. Hopefully he's not going to hit me. I've got two shots to do this. Good, didn't miss. Didn't miss. I'm going to give them the impression that I'm coming up here. <laughs> but then I'm going to turn around. Oh, I better hit the reload. I should have hit the reload five seconds ago. We've still got four tanks left. They've got four tanks left. Oh, this little machine is awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going for the ram. I'm dead. Oh, it's a sad end. What a sad end. Still, it's a good first impression for me. That is a good little tank. <laughs> first impressions go. I'm very, very pleased with it. It's a nice little machine. I've barely digested the statistics in the garage on it. I just know it's got paper thin armor. It's reasonably nippy. That gun packs a wallop. Uh, but then you've got to play it like a classic auto loader. You've got to time those reloads. And unfortunately, that Type 62 was right where I didn't want him to be. And that's going to be a loss. Shame. Because that was a good start in this little tank. I knew it was going to be good, that little machine. I don't think I've watched anyone's reviews of it yet. It's just kind of got that uh, by Panzer moniker at the front, which just means to me it's good. It's like buying a good quality car or something. It's just got a good badge that I like. Because I love my Spy Panzer. Now I'm going to have to call it something else now. Kind of two tanks both called Spy Panzer. You want to know what I'm talking about? Poor M12. Looks like he's going to uh, have to bite it. There's <laughs> that Type 62 again. He's having a good game. The legend of my little whatever he's called. Can't quite read it. Great, let's get over to those post-game statistics and see how we did in my little tier 7 light tank. <laughs> it was great, I really enjoyed it. Wow, we actually picked up a couple of pins. Master Gunner and Fire for Effect. And how did we do on the team? Well, that's the result. We came top. Did over 2,000 damage, 2 kills, 548 XP in the can on a loss. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's my <laughs> one of my new top 10 tanks, I think, after one game in it. I know that's silly to say because it's uh, far too quick to make a judgement on a tank just having one game in it, but it just felt comfortable. It felt good. I don't know. It's, it looks the business. I really like the styling of it. It's, it's very peculiar. It's odd. It's, it's very short and abrupt looking, but there's something kind of retro about it, I think. These really hard angles. And there's very little kind of you know, thin work, you know, grills and vents and things. It's just this kind of smooth box. I can see them on this side of the tank, but you know, from that perspective, it's it's very stealthy looking. Gonna have to dig deeper into the statistics on um, some other bit of software, but um, in this rather basic one, <laughs> the armor, ten. Oh, fire he at this thing. <laughs> you see it, just fire he at it, and you're gonna wreck it. Um, 
but it's really all about the mobility and that lovely punchy little gun. I can imagine the other two guns aren't too bad either. Um, they're all pretty much the same gun. They're all these 19mm Makar guns, if I'm pronouncing that wrong. They've all got very similar rates of fire and very similar damage. So um, I'm going to have to try out uh, this one, which has got slightly better penetration over this first one that you get. Um, and give them a whirl and see what I think uh, on another video. But uh, that's my initial first game, first impression of each by Panzer SP1C. I love it! Anyway, keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I'm going to go and take that axe off there and go and dig for some gold or something. Take care. Bye-bye.